Welcome to my art gallery. I am Margaret Lee and I love to paint pet portraits. The following slides are just a few examples of what I have painted thus far. When painting a pet portrait, it is important to focus on the eyes and face. It is nice when the pet's eyes appear to be watching you as you move around the room. This was my first attempt at pet painting. It is of two puppies from the same litter, Murphy and Susha. These two adorable puppies were adopted by my sons while they were living at home. I painted these two paintings of Murphy and Susha as a set so they could be displayed together or separately. These are the reference photos I used to paint Murphy and a close-up of his face. And this is Susha with a close-up of her face. Here is Murphy all grown up. Cammy is a memorial painting of a very special cat. Bob says his eyes follow him around the room and keep watching him. Kittens. Although the painting contains two kittens, they are really the same kitten in two different poses. The red ball of yarn was added for interest and gave his paws something to play with. Here is a close-up of kittens. If there is a sky in a painting, I like to add flying birds for a little interest and movement. This beautiful dog lives in Wrights Corners, New York. His owner, Margaret, enjoys taking him for walks across the stream and around the pond. Lucy is shown with her reference photos. I use the basic background with the rug, eliminating the intricate pattern to focus more on Lucy. Her rope toy was added for more interest. This is a close-up of Lucy. Tinkerbell in Blue is a memorial painting of my parents' poodles. This was my first painting with a white dog, and I believe I have improved since doing it in 2006. Cujo was done in 2016, and I think he's much better. Coco lives in York, Pennsylvania, along with Opie and their owner, Jenna. Andrew is a Scottish terrier who lives in Ellicott City, Maryland. Carbon lives near Patterson Park in Baltimore, Maryland with my son Patrick and his wife Muriel. This is Henson. He lived in Jefferson City, Missouri and he was often taken to the nursing home to visit patients. I also paint cars and trucks. This Camaro is in North Carolina. It took several photos to get this composition and I think it turned out pretty good. Sherlock lives near Baltimore, Maryland. Moose is enjoying retirement in Southgate, Michigan. When Moose first saw this painting, he barked at it and thought it was another dog. He wouldn't even go near it. This painting I call Trio is a memorial painting. It was composed from at least five different photos of varying quality. Two of the three dogs had passed away by the time this was painted, so additional images could not be obtained. This is a still life of butterflies with some daisies. I really enjoy doing the background of this, just splattering a bit of paint on there. I will be doing that again. It was so much fun. This is my studio in Parkville, Maryland. On the easel is the Camaro I just talked about, and the new painting, Mittens, which is in progress. Hopefully I'll have that up on the website soon. When I am commissioned to paint a custom pet portrait, I work with the client to compose the painting. I request the best images they have available. I also need photos that the client has taken and or own the copyright to. I also need high resolution JPEG files. I also like to know if the pet portrait is for the client or to be given as a gift. I would like to know what they would like shown in the portrait and more about the pet such as their favorite toys, activities, and endearing habits. I also have a video on choosing good reference photos and taking reference photos. Gift certificates are available. You can choose based on the size of the painting and or the dollar amount. For more information, you can contact me, Margaret Lee. Visit my website. Thank you.